James Webb Space Telescope offers a spectacular new picture of Neptune's rings, but Voyager got there first. The James Webb Space Telescope has discovered another spectacular finding which may redefine our view of the planet Neptune. This week, exquisite photos of Neptune were made public, and this planet is the farthest from the Sun. The photograph, which was incredibly difficult to capture from Earth due to the narrow rings and seven moons of Neptune, shed new light on it. And in this video, we will explain the James Webb Space Telescope's discovery of Neptune. Images acquired from Earth in the mid-1980s indicated that the presence of the rings, and it wasn't until 1989 that the Voyager 2 spacecraft captured a complete image of them during its only close encounter with Neptune. Neptune has captivated scientists' attention since its discovery in 1846. Neptune is 30 times as far from the Sun as Earth and orbits in a distant, dark region of the solar system. Because of how faint and dim the Sun appears from such a significant distance away, a scorching day on Neptune is equivalent to early nightfall on Earth. Neptune is known as an ice giant due to its interior chemical composition. Neptune is significantly richer in elements heavier than hydrogen and helium than Jupiter and Saturn. Neptune appears notably blue in images captured by the Hubble Space Telescope at visible wavelengths due to small amounts of gaseous methane. When observed through the James Webb Telescope, Neptune appeared as a brilliant crystal ball with ghostly rings encircling it. This is because the James Webb Telescope captures photos in the near-infrared region which are reflected by clouds high in Neptune's atmosphere. When Voyager captured the planet in visible light, it saw a magnificent blue ball striped with white clouds in a black storm the size of the entire Earth. On August 24, 1989, Voyager 2 captured its first image of the planet just less than five days before it had its closest encounter with Neptune. The photograph showed the great dark spot, a storm in Neptune's atmosphere, and its stunning light blue cloud smear. Early studies from Earth-based observatories indicated that Neptune's rings were not actual rings that surrounded Neptune, but rather incomplete arcs. During an eclipse event where Neptune passes in front of a distant star and becomes backlit, the starlight blinks on and off as it crosses one side of the planet. That indicated the presence of the rings obstructing the starlight. However, scientists noted that this blinking did not happen on the other side of Neptune. That led to the theory that Neptune is encircled by incomplete arcs rather than entire rings. Because the light near the end of the solar system is a thousand times dimmer than on Earth, capturing these rings proved difficult. Long exposures had to be taken by Voyager's cameras as they passed Neptune at the speeds of almost 90,000 kilometers per hour. Also, unlike Saturn's dazzling and icy rings, the material that makes up Neptune's rings is incredibly dark and difficult to photograph. One of the scientists compared trying to photograph Neptune's rings to trying to shoot a black race car flying by at night without using a flash. The Voyager spacecraft took a 61 second shot while 8.6 million kilometers distant from Neptune on August 19, 1989. At that point, this shot proved that Neptune had incomplete arcs around it rather than complete rings at the time. A day or two before the close encounter, the scientists debated whether the planet had a ring system and they began a friendly bet on it. Early Voyager photos showed what appeared to be the expected ring arcs as it approached Neptune. Scientists who supported the arc were ecstatic. On the other hand, the ring supporters were optimistic, believing that as the probe came closer, the images would improve and these arcs would lengthen, merging into rings. Voyager couldn't capture the rings in all their glory until it passed Neptune, entered its shadow, and turned to face the sun. This was a triumph for the ring supporters. The rings turned out to be made of fine dust, the kind that shows up best when light shines through it, like the dust in your house that appears to float in front of a window when the sun shines in. Voyager discovered four rings, some of which had clusters of larger particles brought together by the gravitational attraction of tiny moons residing within the rings. Those clusters seem to be arcs from a distance. This image of Neptune's ring system was created by combining two photographs, one of which had Neptune blacked out in the center. It was a combination of two 10-minute exposures made when the sun was behind Neptune, and the faint ring particles received backlight. Now that it was sure that Neptune had rings, Voyager 2 discovered at least three extra and photographed the entire ring system. We now know that all four of our solar system's larger sized planets, Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus, and even the Earth, have rings, and that each is unique from the others thanks to the Voyager mission. The Earth may have once had a ring. According to the Massive Impact Hypothesis, 
a Mars-sized object collided with the protoplanetary Earth, resulting in a circle of debris that finally crystallized into our moon. It is unknown how rings grow over time, but they are dynamic formations influenced by the planet's gravity and the attraction of any orbiting moons. It took Voyager 12 years to reach Neptune, and it only saw its rings once. Since then, no spacecraft has visited Neptune. However, because the James Webb Telescope can view them at any time, we can keep a watch on them for as long as the telescope is expected to last, which might be up to two decades to monitor how those mystery rings change. Neptune is a shimmering and opalescent globe against a pitch black sky with white rings, as seen through the James Webb Telescope. The distinctive blue color that has come to be associated with the ice giant from Hubble Space Telescope photographs appears to be missing from the James Webb Telescope Neptune photograph. Because the near-infrared camera only sees objects in the range of 0.6 to 5 microns, Neptune is not captured as blue by the James Webb Telescope. Except for locations with high-altitude clouds, Neptune is nearly dark at these near-infrared wavelengths due to considerable absorption of red and infrared light by methane gas. The images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope also clearly show some bright regions in Neptune's southern hemisphere. These bright areas are high-altitude ice clouds that reflect sunlight before being absorbed by methane in the ice giant's atmosphere and make these bright streaks and spots of methane ice clouds visible. Images from observatories such as the WM Keck Observatory and the Hubble Space Telescope have documented these rapidly changing cloud patterns over the past years. The James Webb image also reveals a continuous band of high-latitude clouds encircling a previously observed vortex at Neptune's southern pole. A thin, weak line of brightness can also be seen circling Neptune because Neptune's atmosphere rotates around the planet and allows winds and storms to sweep across the ice giant. The image also shows a mysterious object near Neptune's north pole. Neptune's northern pole is just out of view from the James Webb Telescope, which is about a million miles away and orbits the Sun every 164 Earth years. This powerful telescope noticed an unexpected light in the area around Neptune's north pole. Seven of Neptune's 14 moons have been captured by the James Webb Telescope, which is extremely useful for scientists. Its zoomed out view of Neptune particularly reveals a brilliant light source directly above the ice giant, and this light is Triton, Neptune's moon. The Neptunian moon is covered in an icy layer of condensed nitrogen, which reflects almost 70% of the sunlight that hits it, giving it a dazzling appearance that outshines the methane darkened Neptune. Neptune appears distant because it is 30 times farther away from the Sun than Earth is from our star. However, compared to the billions of light years away galaxies and stars that the James Webb Telescope is made to explore, this is a cosmic stone's throw. And on that note, we have come to the end of this video. What do you think about this discovery? And do you think there are more shocking findings to come? Let us know what you think in the comment section. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we post a new video.